Well, let's take a look at WVTT Sports. The Blazers knocked off the visiting Heat 92 to 90. Nicholas Batum had 28. LaMarcus Aldridge added another 20. Wesley Matthews finished with 18, including a game-tying three-pointer with just under a minute to play and the go-ahead basket with less than 30 seconds to play. Chris Bosh was tops for Miami with 29. The Blazers have won four straight. The Pacers beat the Knicks 81-76 for their ninth straight win at home. Paul George was huge for Indiana. He scored nine of his 24 points in the fourth quarter. He also grabbed 11 rebounds. The Knicks got 25 points from J.R. Smith, but it wasn't enough to keep them from losing for the fourth time in the last six games. The Mavericks came from behind to beat the Kings 117 to 112 in overtime. O.J. Mayo had 24 points, 10 rebounds, and five assists. Vince Carter added 23 points off the bench. DeMarcus Cousins led the Kings with 29. The Mavs snapped a four-game losing streak while the Kings have lost three in a row. Upset on the college hardwood. Oregon handed fourth-ranked Arizona its first loss of the season, 70-66. E.J. Singler led the Ducks with 14 points. Tony Woods and Carlos Emery each scored 10 points. Dating back to last season, Oregon has won 17 straight games on its home floor. Eighth-ranked Gonzaga held on to beat St. Mary's 83-78. The Bulldogs' Kelly Olenek had his second straight game of scoring at least 30 points. He had 33 last Saturday against Santa Clara. Gonzaga improves to 16-1, 3-0 in the conference. Headline Sports, I'm Carlos Diaz. Let's take a look now at our community calendar. A lot of exciting things going on in the month of January. There's less than two weeks till the opening of the 2013 Outdoor and Rec Sports Show. Whether coming off the big game season or enjoying winter sports or gearing up for some winter fishing, you would definitely want to spend the weekend at the uh, Outdoor Sports and Rec Show, Jeff. Sounds like a lot of fun, Alexa. Finally, tonight in the news, a dust storm blows through parts of Australia. Thieves give cops a run for their money and uh, get this Spider-Man. He does a good deed. The video that will have you talking, it's right now and take a look at this. Take a look at this. A red dust storm sweeping through Onslow, Australia. The massive cloud of dust moved across the coast early Friday as onlookers watched. Its eerie color comes from Western Australia's distinct red sand. Meteorologists say dry conditions on the ground and heavy winds are a perfect combination for a dust storm to form. Thieves caught on camera stealing an ATM in Miami, Florida. Surveillance video shows the man using a vehicle and a chain Thursday to haul off with the money machine and the $6,000 inside. Police say moments later, the bold as brass thieves hit up another store. And when their plan didn't work, one of the men tried to tackle the ATM after a couple of hard blows, he gives up and made a run for it. Spider-Man is making his rounds in St. Petersburg, Florida. The action hero was spotted crawling outside a children's hospital. Look up there. What's he doing? Washing windows and surprising kids along the way. The window washer was entertaining the hospital's pediatric patients. For Take a Look at This, I'm April Williams. I guess he'll be doing windshields next, huh? Yeah, I thought <laughs> Spider-Man didn't need supportive ropes to give him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Apparently not so much <laughs> in this day and age. I don't know. <laughs> Let's take a look now at our WVTT Severe Weather Action Team forecast. As we zoom in on the Twin Tiers, here's meteorologist Jim Rinaldi. Now the Twin Tiers official forecast. A couple of leftover showers this evening. It remains mostly cloudy for later tonight, low 38. High pressure is going to try to build in tomorrow, but upper level heights are going to be low. That's going to keep things rather cloudy. But despite the clouds, it's going to be mild. The high temperature, 56 degrees. Next system heads away for Sunday with a chance for showers. A mild day, the high temperature, 56. This is a cold front that's going to come through for Sunday night, bringing colder air. Look for snow on Monday with a high temperature of 32 degrees. I'm WVTT Weather Action Team Meteorologist Jim Rinaldi on WVTT. Depend on it. 
And we do have those warm temperatures coming up tomorrow. So uh, even with a little bit of precipitation, good idea to get outside and enjoy because that winter is coming back, isn't it? I know. And it looks like we could melt away all that <laughs> snow that seems to be sticking around and prep it for some nice fresh snow. Just in time for fresh snow yeah. the following week. <laughs> <laughs> for everybody here at News Channel 25, I'm Jeff Andrelonis. And I'm Alexa Olson. Thanks for watching and have a great night.